Hello guys, what is up? I am Rabbit Retrospect Games, and today we're going to be doing a couple of videos on Maze, developed by Finish Line Games and published by Finish Line Games. Now, full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. However, I am not being sponsored to say anything positive about this game or anything like that. All my thoughts and opinions are my own. So, just full disclosure out of the way, I was going to be covering this game anyway, and they were like, hey, would you promote our game? I was like, yes, of course I would. I was going to be covering it anyway. So, killing two birds with one stone. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be good. Um, JC, the guy that does the Dead by Daylight streams, usually with me, he played through the game before I had the chance, actually, and he really liked it. So, positive buzz right there for me, at least, because JC's very particular about his games, and he said he had a good time with it. So, I'm looking forward to it, too. Hopefully, it's a really good experience. Um, we're going to go ahead and start a new game right up. Because I've not played it yet. I only clicked on it just to get all my settings and stuff done. So, you know, I've not experienced it myself. JC's the one that's played it. So it says resume game. I literally started up just to make sure everything was working right. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, so we are kidnapped by corn. It's always an interesting way to start off any adventure, isn't it? What happened to you? Ah, Reaper invasion. What about you? Sentient corn. Which, now, I have played like 40, I got like, I think, four or five of the folio. I played it just a little bit, just to kind of get familiar with the controls to see if there wasn't going to be any sort of mechanic I need to grasp. And this is more adventure game than I initially thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be mostly a gone home Firewatch type deal, but there are puzzles you have to solve. I was expecting more like walk here, walk here, walk here, open door, pick up thing to open door. This is no more adventure game type deal where you find items and then, you know, use items on things. There's more of that than a lot of these first person games I've played for recent years. Now, we have to figure out, I have not gotten really anywhere, but we have to figure out a hand, DNA, and, a, and a, that's a CD, I think. I think that's going to be a CD or something. I think that's what JC told me was a CD I need to keep on the lookout for. So now we just need to kind of navigate to... There's a barn we're going to be going to. And they keep taunting me with Q. They keep saying, oh, I won't do anything. I keep pressing it every now and then. I'll just be like... I don't know if you can hear that, but I'll just press it just to see if they're lying to me. Because I fully expect them to be lying to me. Now we can exit. Oh! Okay, that caught me off guard. Um, I, huh, I guess the muffin was the distraction. That actually caught me off guard. Oh, that makes... See, a lot of the areas from what I've been to... Like I said, I only played it very briefly. There was... The, there's these boxes that block the way. And so I thought maybe that's just their way of kind of telling you, you can't go here. But it does look like the corn will move it. So that's neat. That's some fast corn, too. I'd be actually terrified if I saw fast-moving corn. I think. Then again, I don't know if that I would. I've never been in this situation where I've had to decide whether or not I want to fight sentient corn. It will be something I keep an eye out on, though. So let's go ahead... I like how they kind of dash your dreams with every little note and whatnot. Every little note and whatnot I've found has been, like, very smarmy and smart aleck and I like that. This is definitely more comedic than I thought it was going to be. I was fully expecting more of a... Uh, how do I put this? I'm trying to think. I don't know, we don't really get too many comedy... That right there is straight out of horror. I don't care what anyone says. That's just horrifying. 
but most of this game does seem to have a comedic tinge. So I do like that. Except that photo, that just, there's the photos in this game of humans are like terrifying. Now I've not figured out what we really need to do with this other than we have a plug. Let's actually read. <laughs> yeah, because everything does have like a little little bit of story and dialogue too, which is neat. I always like that. We're gonna go ahead and unlock the basement. Since we can now go into the basement and there's a shortcut we can now take by opening this. This is about as far as I got. I got to turn on the power, which we're going to do with the nail clippers. We gotta grab a nail, and then put it in the fuse box. I like the music. I like the music. Yes, I was just pressing Q. Shut up. I do like the music, though. It's very, it's very chipper so far, with a tinge of malice. Something lodged. 100% tetanus. Okay, cool. Let's read the rusty nail. I do like how they're being very helpful with the item descriptions. Because sometimes you get, if you're playing an adventure game, sometimes your brain just fries and you're just like, oh, duh, that's what I'm supposed to do. So it's nice that they give you that option. Controller, by the way, it's Y. Pop it up. And you know me, I'm definitely more of a controller guy. We won't put this in the fuse box. And what is it I need to do? Uh, we need to go upstairs. I... Yeah. CD. Bam. A new path is up to you, the barn and silo. We need to go there, wherever that is. And this is pretty much where I stop. I thought for a bit that I was supposed to like hop out on like the second floor, like terrace or whatever, and then go through a window and push it over. But no, broken broom handle. Makes more sense in hindsight. It's like, oh yeah, it's one of those moments. I don't know what goes there either, just for the record. But we need to go to the barn and silo and do something, I don't know, beat a small child. What else do you do with a hammer other than hit children? I mean, other than not do that. Don't actually hit children with a hammer. That would be awful. Or potentially funny. I am not the, con I am not the boss of you and your actions. If you want to get a comedically sized large mallet and... Reenact your favorite scene from the movie Killjoy. As we all know, everyone has watched Killjoy. No, just me. Just me and my obscure horror references that no one else will get. Fair enough. Yeah, I did not get here last time. Okay, there's... Remember E to examine... Ah, yes. Now we need to see what to do here. Are the horseshoes broke? Hmm. I have collected a few, like I said. Let's actually look at a few of those right now. It'll let me. I'm guessing because I have the folio that way. Okay, yeah, we got. I'm swapping to the mouse. They're actually funny. I like this one, the the burnt report that you get in the attic. Like, it does beg the question, like, why anyone would make sentient corn? Like, has science gone too far? Yes, yes, it has. And this one on the mystery novel. I like the fact that. I don't know. I like it. 
might not be everyone's cup of tea, but... I don't know, we don't get really that many comedy games. It's very unique to see a game that's comedic in nature. You'd think we'd get more, but we, we really don't. We usually get, like, drama, horror, action. That's about it. We got a broom handle. Or, not a broom handle, a broom. We already used the handle. <laughs> okay, I like that. One half of a diagram. Don't see anything else up here, so... This was for the barn and silo, so maybe we can look around. Maybe there's something in the silo. I'll take that back, back road there in a second. Because it did say, it said barn and silo, so... I'm assuming we can do something in this area. We wouldn't be able to... Okay, we need something for that padlock. The path is open, but the actual silo itself is not. of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag, in fact, belongs to the dead person that was near, <laughs> and that his name is Fernando. It took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant, and then five more minutes to realize you were trying to read the thing upside down the whole time. Cool. I like that. Very fashionable fedora. Lies. Okay, so we've got... So we've got the glove, so I'm assuming we're going to use the sink that's plugged with oil to get the handout. That would make the most sense, I think. I could be wrong. It's happened before, believe it or not. Believe it or not, your whole boy Rabbit Retrospect Games has been wrong on a few things in the past, although very rarely. Normally, I am perfection incarnate, but on occasion. Okay, we have to do something with this English muffin. This will drive me to the brink of insanity if I don't figure out what we have to do with this English muffin. It can't just be there for... We have to, like, pelt it at someone. This has to be... We have to hold on to this until the end of the game and then, like, stop the villain by throwing the muffin at their head. I will not be satisfied unless my very specific, arbitrary, you know, demand is met. I will not be satisfied. I will not sleep until it's done, until someone has modded it into the game. I wonder how long this place has been abandoned. That, that guy was a skeleton, so, you know. I have to wonder how long have the corn ruled. Alright, we have a severed hand. Yay. Okay, Cyril. Sorry, I had a text massage. Let's go back to the silo. We've got the hand now. We're missing one more thing. So, let me make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, okay. Just double checking.
we should just go touch things with our, our newly acquired hand that probably reeks of rancid oil. Or we could hit things with a broom. Maybe draw a face on it. Call it Dave. Go grab. There's one item I forgot to grab when I, because like I said, I played a, a tad bit of it. Um, bobby pin. There's a bobby pin somewhere that I'm completely forgetting. Oh, it's upstairs. It's upstairs. I knew I was forgetting something. That's how, I, that's how I knew about the, you know, like, I knew immediately how to put the broken broom handle or whatever it was next to the wobbly cabinet. Because I'd done that little part beforehand. So we need to go back to there. I knew I was forgetting something. It had been bugging me for a second. I was like, I'm forgetting something. I actually quickly, like, refreshed, since I, like I said, I refreshed uh, the video I'd recorded a little bit previous. Just seeing, I was like, oh, yeah, Bobby Pender. That makes sense. We've already found one key, and that was for the barn. I don't think they'd have another key so early. Let's go ahead and put the Bobby Pin into the silo and grab whatever is in the silo. I'm assuming the silo is going to give us the last bit we need for this kind of opening part. Uh, maybe we'll have to do something with that bit, but I'm not 100% not sure, but we'll find out. And I have to wonder if this is going to be an area we're going to be at for the rest of the game, or if it's going to be... I know there are chapters, but I'm curious if like the, each chapter is its own kind of self-contained little area. Okay, we've got to use the broom for that. Give him those pliers. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so we've got the needle of those pliers. So we have to get whatever is in the sausage. Shut up, phone. We have to go get whatever's in the sausage maker. Pull it out. Figure out what we have to do with it. I'm hoping it's just. I'm hoping whatever we get from there is like one and done. We grab it, that's it, bam. But if I had to guess, we have a hammer. We know we need the hand and the old CD for the door. So I'm assuming we either you need the hammer for whatever's in the sausage grinder because it's stuck in there, or we're going to beat it with an English muffin, which would be the preferable outcome because seriously, we have an English muffin that seems to be harder than a boulder for reasons that will forever elude me. So we're going to see it, though. We will see what is there. I'm hoping also all the other chapters give us just as descriptive items because that's very helpful. So let us go look. Sausage grinder. Excellent. We got the warped key fob. Oh, 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 oh. It just occurred to me. Just occurred to me. We need to go upstairs. There is a little blue thing. A blue outline that looked like a... Let me find... Ah, oh, there we go. Just occurred to me. Okay. So... Okay, it was on the, this side then. Go put this. And 
then the hammer, and then the key. There we go. Okay, see, I was wondering, because I saw that blue thing. I wasn't sure why it was there, but it makes sense why we have the hammer now. Although, they could have just left the hammer there. I don't think... Yeah, since it's out of our inventory, maybe they should have just left the hammer. I thought we would potentially be using the hammer on something else. Not that it's really a big deal or anything. Okay, that looks... Yeah, that takes us to the facility, if I'm not mistaken. So we've got everything in an English muffin. And again, I'm, I fully expect... I've built this up in my mind. The English muffin's going to cause us to win the game. Like, just flat out. That's what it'll be. The last thing that needs to be moved, the last whatever, it comes down to this English muffin. It is nice to see that they went through the Resident Evil school of how to lock your doors with several keys. I they'll do that in the new Resident Evil. I don't know. But we've got our items. Again, an English muffin. So let's see what is behind the door. Is it going to be like... I wonder if we're going to be like fighting them or sneaking past them or what exactly. Because I don't know if the corn killed the one dude out there or what. So I guess we'll find out. Hey! Hey! You must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> a doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring! I'm riddle president today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Why is he oh, president right, every then. time? No, I've actually I did been a vote unclear on the election. Oh, we should yes. help with that. <clears throat> An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, 25 get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, no, that's... I was expecting more of a... I was expecting, I honestly was expecting more horror. This, it looks like we're going to get dark here. Okay, so I think this would be a good place to kind of stop for right now. We've gotten past the introduction part of it. Uh, and I'm, I'm really curious to see what on earth is going on with this, this corn thing. And why on earth anyone thought it was a great idea to make sentient corn. But it does look like we're going to get... I'm liking the humor so far. I'm enjoying the game so far, so... Hopefully it keeps it up. I, I do want to see more of the corn, even though it kind of disturbs me to see, like, faces on corn and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed this. We'll be doing more videos of this. So, hopefully you all enjoy. Hope you all have a great day. I'll see you on the next part. Take care.